How much damage have you done to your hair? Researchers are looking for ways to make bad hair days a thing of the past. That story next in Discoveries and Breakthroughs Inside Science. Ah, hair. We wash it, dry it, fry it, and that means we need to condition it. Americans spend more than $1 billion a year on conditioners. But how do you know which ones really work for you? Perhaps this man can get to the root of the matter. He has one word for how we treat our hair. Terrible. Dr. Bharat Bashan is a mechanical engineering professor at The Ohio State University. He has just completed a comprehensive study of hair on the nanometer level. That's looking at hair one billionth of a meter at a time. We'll bring the tip in contact as we already have done it here, and then we'll start scanning the hair surface. Using an atomic force microscope, Bashan measured the softness of inner hair layers and experimented with adhesion, friction, weight, and crashing. He found some conditioners are not working for us at all. It does not uniformly coat the hair surface, and it sits in pockets at the bottom of the cuticles. Experts say conditioners are needed because everything we do to our hair, even shampooing, strips away natural oils that need to be replaced. You use a conditioner really to lubricate. You, you're looking for a good feel. And Bashan believes the best conditioners chemically attach to the hair. If it does not chemically attaches to hair, it does not interact with hair, then it's not doing much of protection. And protecting the hair is the bottom line. This is Cynthia Demas reporting.